hi everyone this is mohit and welcome back to engineer tech up channel so in this session we are going to share with you ey interview question and answer for automation test engineer two to eight year of experience so many of the question is guys already repeated so if you feel like this question you already have seen and you can just uh, skip but uh, this uh, session will help you what type of the question in the current market and what level of the question they are going to ask okay so that is the perspective of this video okay so let's move in the first uh, question so first question is always tell me about yourself if you are a experienced pressure or more than 10 years or if you are attending any level of the interview any experience and any profile the first question they will ask tell me about yourself okay so i have already made the separate video of the tell me about yourself what you have to speak and all just here i have given some few points to highlight in tell me about yourself like you have to tell your name your current organi organization your relative relevant experience your skill set is very important guys so you have to highlight your skill set like you are attending for automation profile so you have to highlight your automation skill set right some of the company are going to hire for a specific skill set like they are looking for more experience in api testing or selenium or mobile testing so you have to highlight those skill so before you know when you will get the call from the hr you can ask them and you have uh, some description and roles and responsibility from there you can understand the requirement of the company when you will highlight over there and definitely they will ask you the cross question then you have to prepare well otherwise you will be stuck over there your current project so you have to give the brief introduction about of your which domain you are working and what is your roles and responsibility if they will ask you the can you explain your project then you can uh, speak and you can explain in the depth but in the introduction it must be crisp and clear okay your roles and responsibility is very important okay what is your roles and responsibility in your current project understood right so we'll get all the playlist in my youtube channel i have made the separate video of what is the roles and responsibility how to uh, explain your project okay so let's move in the another uh, question explain the previous project and roles and responsibility so you can see they already asked you can you explain your project and your roles and responsibility so here you have to uh, speak in the depth right so i have already prepared a separate video of that how to explain your project and roles and responsibility i will share this uh, all the question and links in the description you can watch okay so let's move in the another question about exception handling in the java so we have a separate playlist for exception handling in the java when you are attending as a automation test engineer what type of the question they are going to ask related to exception handling and what the topics is required to implement your code okay so you will get the complete playlist will get all the links in the description what is the dis uh, difference between let me keep here what is the difference between a uh, abstract class and interface in java okay so we have already discussed this uh, uh, you know abstract class and interface with the example with real time example with code so we'll get this link in the description okay so let's move in the another question what is difference between the over loading and method overriding so this is you know uh, simply what i can say if you are good in the java if you are good in the selenium you can explain very well otherwise you will be stuck okay so many of them you guys already done the course but if you don't have a proper confident you know how to crack how to write the code and all so i will give you the solution guys please watch end of this video okay what are the factor that we consider while considering an automation tools so sometimes we have a scratch level of the project and we are going to they are going to uh, start the automation things might be your uh, have a you can start from the poc and your manager will ask you 
what the tools we have to select over there right so what the things you have to take care while selecting the tools the cost and license so again it depend upon the clients if they are looking for uh, some open source tool or they are ready to pay some license so we can go accordingly community and support like if you have uh, some tools so how they are supporting right we are getting some error or we are like have uh, some doubt and also how to we can reach out to them and all security is also important for your tools it should not having like many of the company very strict regarding the security functionality and features like what type of the functionality and features we have so you can just consider one tool like selenium many tools are coming in the market now these days easy uh easy of use right so it's not a too much complicated right so it's must having the easy to use platform compatibility so you have to also check our tools will work in the all the platform like windows mac OS, they are supporting and all a scalability and flexibility reporting and analytic analytics so reporting features is very important guys in the execution we have to share the report to our client we have to share our report to stakeholders right so this is very important your reporting must be crystal and clear otherwise it will create a problem for us reliability and stability so this all the point you have to take care while selecting the automation tools okay so let's move in the another question another question is what is an action class and ask to mention few methods so again guys so depend upon the interviewer some of the interviewer is fully prepared what type of the question they have a list of the question but some of the interviewer is not prepared they whatever they can ask it's totally depend upon the complete syllabus okay so it's not like that you have to crack the interview your perspective is to uh, prepare the interview how to prepare the interview and you have to how to handle your project how to survive in the project so this is two perspective you have to keep in your mind some of the people are struggling they are very good in the practical but they are not able to explain in front of the interviewer so simply what you have to do you have to do the practice okay like today i have uh, done some topic like i am doing the preparation for selenium or anything like java so whatever the topic you have learned you can remind yourself you can write the code yourself are you able to write or you are going to forget and all so if you will do this type of the practice definitely it will improve your presentation skill it will improve your writing a skill in front of the interviewer so it totally depend upon your practice how you do it how you are doing the practice okay same one topic the pick like action class so why we use the action class if you are preparing for interview you should aware of this why we use this right we having the mouse over and keyword event so by using the mouse over and keyword event we can use action class and inside this action class we having the many method like click method double click context click if you want to do the right click move to element when you will do the mouse over then we have to move to element and send keys like we having the many uses of the send keys here you can use for keys keys down so these are the release and platform so these are the method which is coming from action class you can pause the video and can read this all the description okay so i think that's all uh, in this session guys so if you are struggling to learn java selenium so i have a paid course for you guys so this is my uh, site mohit tech hub if you will go in the courses so you will get uh, java selenium course so if you will go here uh, you know like slavers you can go in the slavers you will get many demo videos so you can see if you will have a this watch then you can watch this video this is the pre-request video okay so you can watch this video and you will get the complete java and selenium uh, master to advanced level okay
so you can just go through that and you can watch some videos demo videos so you can uh, like feel how this course is and if you feel this course is profitable for you so now we having the 50 percent off if you will click on this buy you will get the 50 percent discount guys so if you want to explore and if you want to learn as a experience level you should not stack basics in the interview this course will help you guys okay so that's all i think you are aware of my channel as well so this is my channel i'm engineers tech hub you will get many playlists here so here you can just take your interview yourself you will get all this interview question and answer for top level of the mnc and few of the things like a very common question if you are a, a manual tester or if you are from different background like challenges in your project roles and responsibility right so these are the very common question they will ask you so you can visit this playlist and you can watch this and definitely this will be helpful for you guys and in the last please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification if you have any suggestion you can comment below thank you so much in the next video bye bye